Oh crap. Well, welcome back to uh, Black 2. I totally forgot to start recording. Um, so the team is pretty much unchanged. I leveled them up, um, so they're now all 35, and Bison now is holding the... Uh, what is it called? It's the thing that makes the crits more common. Uh, scope lens. Our crits more... Yeah, more common. And so, Bison evolved, and that was pretty much all the changes that's happened. So I'm now making my way back through the cave, because we have to uh, finish up. We've almost made it to the end. So we just have a... Uh, we can't go that way. Okay, there's a bridge down over here. Yes, I know. You can't push it. You have to push it towards the blocks. Alright. So we got past the doctor a little ways. But no, we didn't finish exploring the first floor all that much. There was apparently more stuff on the very bottom floor. So that's where we got to head. And I just balls that up. Great. So I'm glad these stones magically repel from their crystals after you go back upstairs. Alright, did I fight this guy? I'm pretty sure I fought this guy. What I found on the PC was just someone else's idea and I not an answer that I had come up with myself. Okay. Um, that looks like it's hiding something, but I can't push that crystal one way or the other. Yeah, there's no way. Huh, weird. It definitely looks like it's hiding something, but it's not. Alright, haven't fought this guy yet. It's the way of greeting high in the mountains and down in the caves. <laughs> yes, because no one can say hello in this world. They just battle each other. To the death. Finneon. Alright. Ganondorf can tank a Finneon. Um, Psychic, I think, will work. Oh wow, that thing just does not take damage. Alright, let's go with Assurance. I however can- oh, Water Pulse, ow. But I'm still gonna tank it really well, wow. Oh, there's the confusion, okay. So it has water... Um, yeah, Bison should be able to handle it. Wow, that was a crit and it barely did any damage. Um, we'll just spark it. Nicely done, Bison. Oh, an Azuril. Um, I'm gonna keep battling because it's totally weak to electricity as well. Actually, it may not be. That might be the one evolution that's not water-typed. Yeah, Azuril's actually a normal type, and it only picks up war- wow. That actually did more damage than the other thing did. And Bison has static, which is very nice, because whenever he gets hit, he pretty much paralyzes things, so that's always a good thing to have. Twisted Spoon, which gets me... Ooh! Isn't Twisted Spoon even more powerful psychic? Yes. 
boost psychic type moves by I think 20 percent all right well let's give that to Riddler I mean he's already holding on odd incense so it doesn't really change anything but it's more themed appropriate Ooh, a splash plate. That is for water plus? Correct, 20%. Yep. And... Also, it can turn Arceus into a water type. Uh, plates are not Arceus. I think plates are Genesect? No, plates are Ar Ar Arceus. Arceus, okay. Genesect has drives. Alright, um, we can actually give that to Poison Ivy. Yeah, that'll take the experience share out and uh, swap that out. You actually have one of the drives. You were confused because it's called a dowsing drive. Drive, yeah. And then we haven't fought this trainer down here. Wow, jeez, these trainers have huge vision ranges. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a rotation battle. Man, those suck. Altaria, Chandler, and Croconaw. Ugh. Ganondorf, Altaria Riddler, and be... Ozai. Altaria's dragon type, watch out. Mm hmm. That means it resists the electric. Alright, who do I have? I've got Ganondorf, Riddler, and Ozai. Um, Ganondorf can take out Chandler. Ozai is a bad choice pretty much across the board here. Yeah, Ozai's a terrible choice, so... Hmm. I think I'm just gonna have to psychic the... Altaria. Like, there's just really no other options. Wow, the critical, no. the critical hit hardly touched Ganondorf. And my Psychic hardly touched Altaria. Alright, do I have any Pokemon that can take out a Dragon? No, I have no Ice moves whatsoever. Or no, yeah, no Dragon or Ice moves whatsoever. Mm. Doesn't uh, Colonel Hansen have a uh, Sky Tech? Because that'd be uh, neutral with stab against the Altaria. Ow! I think Altaria just crit a second time. Oh, wait, I can't heal with bag any bag items. But I can Moonlight, so... Chandler used Hex, which isn't going to do anything near enough damage to a Dark-type. Um, Faint Attack or Assurance? Which is stronger? Faint Attack. Faint Attack. Oh, and not Confuse hits. Ray. Damn it, hit myself in the confusion. Luckily, you know, that'd be really nice if Shell Bell would activate off of that. Oh god, it's a Croconaw. Please don't have superpower or anything yet. I don't think they don't learn it yet. Oh god, no. It's got crunch. It's not a big deal. Come on, Ganondorf. Shake off the confusion. Riddler... I guess Riddler could... Yeah, Riddler could handle this. With its crunch powers? That is a point. God damn it. I can't do anything. Like, that's all it knows early levels. Crunch, Ice Fang, and Water Gun. Yeah, so Faint Attack's all I've got. Slowly knock him down. Luckily that Shell Bell gives me a tiny bit. There's an Ice Fang. Ow. And another Faint Attack. Up, oh, he's back to Altaria. Take down. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, I'll Moonlight again. Luckily, Ganondorf is just an absolute ungodly tank.
Back to full health. Yeah, Faint Attack has a lot of uses, too. Oh, come on. Chip away, ow. Oh, still not that much damage. I see, I'm always expecting a bigger hit, but Ganondorf just tanks it. Oh, not Confuse Ray from Chandler again. Ugh. I'm back. Come on, hit through the Confuse Ray. There we go. That'll take out that Chandler. Sounds like someone's having a fun No, nope, didn't kill it. Yeah, the Chandler keeps confusing me. And just use Confuse Ray again for no apparent reason. But I hit through it again, so that works too. Alright, no more Confuse Rays. Those are done. Alright, now we just need to finish off this Croconaw without killing myself. Come on, Ganondorf. Damn it! I'm not doing any damage to myself, luckily, so... There we go, we're out of confusion. So yeah, that was pretty much just Ganondorf tanking three Pokemon in a rotation battle because, yeah. <laughs> no one else could. I cannot find... Ooh, I get Blaze Kick. Um... Alright, Blaze Kick is an 85 power, 90 accuracy, extra critical hit, and chance of burn, so that's obviously a move we want. Do I want to get rid of Overheat for it? I'm gonna go with yes. So I still want to keep Double Kick, because it's nice to have the Fighting Stab. All right. I think that covers everything downstairs, then. And let's just keep using those repels. How are we doing Pokemon-wise? Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal up a little bit so I can use items outside of battle. Uh, where is my potions? Just a touch of health back for you, and a touch of health back for you. Just so you're a little less likely to get one-shotted if we get into a nasty battle. Alright. Sneak over here. Oh, that's the other side of the... Okay, well, there's no reason to go that way, then. Okay, there's one guy there, there's the trainer there, and that's the exit. So, let's hit him in order. <gasps> that one guy... That guy's guarding loot! Sneak by him. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, a zap plate! Perfect. Let's, uh, put that on Bison. Instead of the critical hit thing. Uh, wrong tab. There we are. Nice! Now Bison has extra electric damage. Alright. We'll teach a child like you the harshness of life and the difficulty of Pokemon battles. Or you're just a crazy old guy who lives in a cave. Gonna go with number two. An Aerodactyl! That is not ideal. Not a lot of stuff I have that's good against an Aerodactyl. Oh, it's got pressure, too. Lovely. Do so you have a single rock-type move? Hmm, poison Ivy would be weak to anything flying, so I don't want to really throw Poison Ivy in there. But Poison Ivy could kill it with Surf pretty easily. 
I would resist if it had electric fang. I'd resist if it had fire fang. Ancient power I would resist. So I, all I'm really worried about is wing attack with poison ivy. And poison ivy could probably tank one wing attack. Because Ludicolo is more defense oriented. Um, Colonel Hansen does have a fighting type move, but that's neutral against him. Um, Bison would be okay, but I don't think Bison could take a hard hit from him. It's okay. probably going to have Crunch, Ancient Power, Agility, and Roar. Yeah, so let's go Poison Ivy and just hit it with Dude. a Surf. It actually, the only way it could possibly have a, a flying type move is if it kept Wing Attack as a starting move. Nope, oh, it had Roar. God damn it. Um, yeah, Riddler is not staying out. Yeah, because that'll probably have Crunch. Actually, no, it can't have Crunch. It's it gets that next oh, level. My phone. So unprofessional of me. Damn it! I hang up on you. It means call back later. Uh, Ghost. Actually, keeping Riddler in would be an okay idea. Crunch would not be good. It do it gets Crunch next level. No. Oh. It doesn't have it yet. Okay. And it's pretty weak to uh, special attacks. If I oh no, he it. nerfed my speed. The horror. Oh no, ancient power. I'm quad resistant. It's got a whole special defense of 95. Actually, no, 75. I was looking at the mega. Yeah, I just one shot it with surf. Which I tried to do five turns ago. <laughs> uh, water doesn't resist rock. Okay, so half resist. Whatever. All right, Grimer coming in. So that's obviously a job for Riddler. Well, it's good to see Poison Ivy getting some uh, actual use. All right, got a hundred and twenty-four, or thousand and twenty-four dollars. Not too bad. That will pay for the repels that took me to get through this cave after divide by one hundred four attempts. 